Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, <laughs> doing a video about losing my virginity and it's hilarious. No, it's not. Um, basically, sh long story short, I had gender reassignment surgery nearly two years ago. It failed. I lost all my depth and I uh, had to have revision to regain depth, vaginal canal. Um, that was five years, sorry, five months ago with Dr. Therapong in Thailand. So now that I've regained my depth, I've tried to have sex um, for the first time in nearly two years, proper vaginal sex. Um, I completely went off anal <clears throat> after I had my primary first surgery with Dr. Kamal. For some reason, everything felt different. It was uncomfortable hurt did not like it it's like things moved around inside and I was like no I don't want to do that anymore so I'm in a long-term relationship and it's definitely caused me or us issues um, and it's not fun so <clears throat> I have tried to regain depth um, and which it looks like it's worked and now it's time to use it um, I think if you don't use it, you lose it kind of thing. And five months down the track, you should be able to have intercourse. Um, my partner is very thick. He's this thick. So it's been problematic to have sex. Um, he's only managed to get that much in. And then it's like, I can't do it. Um, push him away. Um, so I went... <clears throat> I, okay, I don't like this bit of hair. I went on to Reddit and... Um, girl you look Jewish what the fuck is going on here so I went on to reddit and um, found you know I was like I'm too tight how do I loosen this thing up and someone said they had used a muscle relaxant uh, that was prescribed by their doctor so I asked my doctor about this and he gave me a muscle relaxant like a strong ibuprofen I don't know but um, I popped a couple of these pills on the night that I planned to have proper sex um, so I yeah took a couple of those I dilated using the dark crystal and I also smoked something to you know a bit of green to help me out um, and I tell you what it really helped me relax because that was the name of the game tonight was well, well that night was to relax and not overthink things and try and let it happen um, okay so I set the mood in my bedroom neon lights music I do recommend cannons they're really good for making out and I also had so dilated and prior to this and I had inserted lubricant using Mr. Timu here I bought this on Timu so you put the um, lube in that end and then you just insert that inside your vagina um, yeah so let's get down to it um, basically started missionary position um, this is a great position I like it because it's easy for me and he has to do all the work <laughs> um, actually it's probably easy because I don't have to like strain there's no writing there's no work I just lie there and try and relax um, now I was like learning I was learning things as we're doing this because I haven't really had sex before in this way um, vaginally so it's all new for me what I've learnt is a guy I'm presuming because he's the only one I've been with but this is what he did he went try to go in like that and I'm like there's no way you can I was like pushing him away like no 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 hurts too much um so what he needed to do is do like I do with the dilator <clears throat> sorry my voice is go in that far and just stop okay let it relax and then you can keep going but I kind of got him to go that far and then sort of move in and out at the entry just to get the entry to loosen up um, because the entry is where most of the pain is because your scar ring is around there from the external tissue is you know that far in and then it connects to the internal tissue so it's just that little scar that's like still healing 
kind of hurts um, so if you can just relax it by doing little mini pumps and then a little more and a little more you'll know your body like I was like learning I was like oh I think you can go in a bit further um, and I was kind of conducting the situation and controlling it um, and so as nature would be he started pumping a bit more and I was like taking my foot off the pedal a little bit and not controlling it as much and letting him um, do that more pumping more and it got to the point where I was going in about four inches and I was asking him for reports like how far in is it what does it look like <laughs> because I found that I can't actually feel how far in it's gone it's like there's no real feeling inside the vaginal canal um, it's just a feeling of pressure so you can't tell how far in it's gone um, so I was just requiring him to tell me because I'm still learning I don't know I'll learn it I guess I'll know when it's all the way in but for me it's like new I don't know don't want to injure myself so I was like I felt like it was all the way and he goes no I'm only halfway um, which kind of disappointed me I just wanted it in it was a mixture of anxiety PTSD pressure um, did not allow me to really enjoy the initial experience I was just just like this was like a test you know this needs to work I've been through so much trauma with my surgeries I haven't had sex for nearly two years I was like stressed out um, the, the, the green helped um, <laughs> And so I just sort of like let it go, stop overthinking, let it happen. And eventually it started to feel good and it wasn't hurting as much. It seemed like it had relaxed and opened up, so to speak. And um, I started like, okay, this is cool. And like, this is feeling good. It wasn't like I was getting clitoral stimulation because you need to have him right in you I think for, for it to rub on you because the clit is really close to your body so there was none of that it was li literally wasn't all the way in so there was none of that rubbing going on um, yeah uh, so it started to feel good and I was like the music was playing and I was like there was a good rhythm going on and things were like jiggling <laughs> nicely and I was like this is really interesting because I felt really validated as a female I felt like this is what I wanted like now I'm getting it I'm having sex and I feel like me and I'm really enjoying this and it felt really natural to me um, it felt like that moment when you um, learn something and you're like oh oh okay um, that's how it felt I don't know how to put it into words um, and it allowed me to start enjoying the sensations and to move my body to feel it and make it move in different ways which I really enjoyed and got to the point where I was like confident enough to say let's try a new position so we did doggy and that was really interesting because it felt more comfortable like weirdly it didn't hurt um, it felt like really comfortable and he was able to go in further um, so that was weird I thought it was gonna hurt but it didn't I was like okay this is my new favorite position um, so yeah and then we flipped back into missionary and he orgasmed inside me um, I don't know where the juice went because nothing came out of me um, <laughs> I was like where is it <laughs> um, not used to that um, even on the toilet it didn't come out uh, yeah I don't know I don't know how to work that area fully so I don't know I was like trying to push it out anyway um, <laughs> I learnt that it comes out the next day sometimes and not when you expect it to mm. <laughs> so make sure you wear a panty shield if you're in a safe relationship monogamous 
although we're in an open relationship, but we have very strict rules about playing safe only. Um, so yeah, that's my story. That is um, my first time doing it. Um, it, I guess, wasn't so much spontaneous sex. It was more of a planned night because I needed to see if it worked and I felt good afterwards. I felt like, okay, there's hope. I'm, maybe I'm getting out of the woods here. Maybe this is going to work. Um, can I, maybe I should report on some of the things I experienced. So was there lubrication? Yes. Um, once I used this, um, this got the party started, but after that things were lubing themselves up. I've had colon um, surgery, so I've got that, and that does self-lubricate. So it did do its job. Um, when we flipped positions, I had to just put a little bit more lube on him. He said it was wet enough, but I felt like it needed more. Um, <clears throat> I think things dried out a bit between positions. Girl, stop messaging me. And... Um, yeah, so there was lubrication. There was no smell. I was worried about that. I was like, oh, is it going to smell? Because I've heard that that can happen with this particular type of surgery, but there wasn't. Um, that was fine. Um, it wasn't like dripping everywhere. There wasn't a puddle of slime or sludge. There was none of that. Um, and yeah, no sensation inside the vaginal canal. It just feels like it's expanding and pressure but it feels good when the rhythm is going and uh hit the g-spot yeah i've got a g-spot apparently um no orgasm <clears throat> i don't find orgasm easy so it's not something i can do easily unfortunately i'm one of those girls so that's fun um Although I didn't really stimulate the clitoris. I just saw this as getting my learner's license. Um, so I did a little bit of a touch, but it's just concentrating on relaxing. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't know where the juice went, his juice. I don't know what happened there, but um, I think it comes out over time over the night and also in the next day which is weird so I did pee straight after sex you're supposed to do that to try and stop UTIs yeah apparently um what else I don't think there's anything else to report to be honest um I was sore the next day I was tender very tender it felt uncomfortable to sit down and um walk a little bit um, but we're dealing with quite a big dingling you know so to be expected um, he did not get all the way in he managed to get three quarters of the way so he is he's this long so down to my thumb here he got in about that far so there's a lot to go I need to research this a bit more I don't want issues like prolapsing or um, damage because he's big I I don't know if I'm dealing with um, an unusual situation here you know when doctors say oh yeah you should be sexually active after five months or whatever they're probably thinking normal size is not horse so yeah uh what else i don't think there's anything else to say um we have had sex again but i'll do a video on that which is going to be more about what is spontaneous sex like like no preparation at all um i've got to say i do like the fact that i don't have to douche before sex like I did when I had anal like douching is not f I hate douching and I did not enjoy anal so um, I liked the fact I didn't have to worry about the back door and all that stuff being cleaned and 
prepared. It was just, <clears throat> oh my God, my voice. I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. It's like nearly 11 p.m. So it was it was enjoyable to not have to do to not have to think about um, cleaning that area, the back end. Um, I enjoyed that. Although when we were in doggy, he tried to have a poke, and I was like, "Do not go there. <laughs> that is off bounds now. <laughs> There's no way. I I just don't think I ever want to have that again." So that's my video, guys, and I hope it's like helping, like it's an educational video. This is not meant to be kinky, although someone think someone wrote in the comments that I'm literally doing porn. So I'm not. This is educational. And then there's other comments where they're saying, Oh my god, kids have watch you kids watch YouTube. Well, first of all, all my videos are set to not for children. So no children should be seeing my videos. And this is transgender education, so I don't know what you're doing in here. And also, if your kids are on YouTube, you're a bad parent. Your kids should not be on YouTube unless you're sitting behind them watching what they watch. And they shouldn't have a phone, a smartphone, or an iPad. Not until they're probably 15 or 16. So don't judge me, because I'm judging you for being a bad parent. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm so tired.